All right, guys, we finally made it to Lincoln City, and man, this is just such a sight to behold here. There's a huge migration pattern here, and if you look, you can see pretty much as far as the eye can see here, there's just people gathered. Uh, it looks like there's some sort of a sale or something, and you can see just families and families of middle-class Americans gathered. They're just coming in droves, and uh, I don't know I don't know what's going on, but there seems to be something very important here that they all have to, to get. Um, I'm not quite sure what it is. Here we have the, on the West Coast, the American families seemingly uh, searching for some items that are on sale, and uh, just witnessing these creatures in their natural habitat is something to behold. Yeah, she's getting a little thick there, bud. Hope it doesn't take off my snorkel. Well, I was lucky enough to find my drone, thanks to DJI's uh, Find My Drone uh, feature. Uh, I had to climb down pretty much, I'll have to show you a sheer cliff face that almost rolled my ankle to find it, but found my little buddy. So now will come the fun part, trying to get out of here. And the camera, of course, never does it justice, but I basically had to climb down a sheer cliff face and slip multiple times. And that's where I need to get out of. So, Hopefully I don't break my ankle here, we'll see. But the important part is we got a little guy back, so. All right, we are almost home free. If I can just get this last little section here where there's not much footing. Ow! Uh. Uh. Uh, I just messed my knee up. My knee's fine, I just scraped it. Just please don't slip, because there is no coming back from that. Well, there is, but I wouldn't stop for a very long time. Ah. Fuck. Sorry for swearing. It feels like just at any point, any of these rocks that I'm grabbing onto are just just schist and they could just break off and I could fall endlessly. So it's not very reassuring.
Yeah, that rock just dropped forever. Almost there though. Come on, baby. Okay. All right, guys, this is the campsite. So we're at about 3,000 feet, and this is called Rocky Point. It's just, man, you can see, if you look out there, there's a layer, obviously, of fog, and it was all foggy when I was in Lincoln City. It looked terrible, miserable, just like it always does. You can see, like, the separation between the fog and the sea. It's just really cool. But we'll get the bed set up in there, the one that I made with over the uh, sleep, uh, the sleeping platform drawer set up, and we'll have a nice view to wake up to in the morning and to fall asleep to. Honestly, we're gonna have a nice sunset. After that excursion climb that I wasn't prepared for, I'm gonna go ahead and have a little drink, I think. So let's go ahead and make a drink and uh, celebrate that we're still alive and that we have the drone, eh? Man, it really is the simple modifications that are the most appreciated. What we've got here is, first of all, I'm chilling my old-fashioned coupe glass. What we're actually going to do, because we don't have a proper sh uh, bartender's tin, we're just going to use a, a camping coffee cup and throw some ice in it. This drink shouldn't be shaken anyways, so we're not going to shake it. So this is called a Boulevardier. We're going to get started with a little bit of Bullet Bourbon. So we're going to do about an ounce of this. I really like Bullet Bourbon. Bullet is uh, American-made, you know, whiskey. Generally, you'll do about an ounce, an ounce and a half. And then we're going to go with Campari. Campari is one of my favorite, um, I don't know what genre it would be in, liqueurs slash aperitif. And then Sweet Vermouth. Sweet Vermouth uh, traditionally is known for being in Manhattans. Uh, so this is actually very a close relative to the Manhattan beings that it has bourbon and Sweet Vermouth in it. We'll do about an ounce of that. All right, so let's say that's about good. Our, ice, our glass is nice and chilled now, so we'll just throw that into the ocean. And then we'll just use our spoon to sort of strain this. And I think I did the perfect amount. Yeah, you can see little ice crystals in there. That is called a boulevardier or a boulevardier, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Cheers. Well, I did have a nice dinner planned for tonight. I was going to make sushi, but wouldn't you know it, I forgot the darn rice. So you can't really make sushi without rice. Or can you? Well, we're gonna try and make it anyway. Get the salmon cooked up. We're gonna get some, we're gonna slice some avocado with some sliced jalapenos and cucumbers. We're all nori here. We'll try and makeshift, I don't know, make like a, a sushi burrito or something? I don't know. I, I don't know. I really, uh, I really, I really F that one up. But what are you gonna do, right? We're camping. It's not gonna be gourmet anyways, or will it? This will be interesting. So we cooked our salmon on our cast iron, got a little seasoning on it, kind of like to a medium, medium rare, something like that. So we'll start with our cucumber and a couple jalapenos and a little bit of avocado. And we'll add a little bit of salmon, a little sesame oil, and some panko breadcrumbs. All right, so we'll go ahead and start rolling it up. Tamari soy sauce. We'll just put in our bowl here to dip it in. This is so, so like, just not cool, I know. I don't think this is gonna work. Oh wait, nope, it's sticking. Well, it is what it is. It's actually really not that bad. I feel like the person who messes up our meal always says that it's it's actually pretty good even though it's really not just because they want it to be. Guys, I can't without being too getting too sentimental, I just can't describe how like I, I just can't describe the feeling of being up here right now. I mean this view, it comes through good on the camera, but you just have to get up here. Right guys, well I'm just kind of enjoying the last bit of the sunset here. Taking in these nice colors, so 